What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell, I have most of my makeup on today, but we have forgotten a most important part, which is the eyes. So as you can see by the title, we're going to be playing with some eyebrow, eyebrow, take two, cut. <laughs> Let's try again. We're going to be playing with some eyeshadow and eyeliner stencils that I saw on TikTok and I thought, how did I not know that these existed? I gotta have some. So I did order them from Amazon. I ordered two kinds. You just search, you know, eyeliner stencils and all different types will pop up. I just guessed at which ones to buy. I've got a packet of these. I don't, it doesn't even really have a name on them. It just says uh, 24 pieces eyeliner eyeshadow. Um, that's it. It comes in the little packet like this. And then this one has nine tails fox on the top of it. And these come in um, some different styles as well. So you have sexy eyeliner, you have fishtail eyeliner, you have double liner. You also have eyeshadow, which is like basic eyeshadow, classic eyeshadow, everyday eyeshadow. So we're gonna be playing with these today and see if they're worth the money and if they're even worth your time. Because if you're learning to how to do like eyeliner, eyeshadow, and you're struggling, maybe these will be the solution to your problem. So if this sounds like something that you're interested in, please subscribe, give the video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out and let's get into it. All right, so I went ahead and opened the packet and these have different sides. So they have an L and an R for left and right. That way you know exactly which side to put the eye, on, put it on which eye. Um, so you, I'll kind of hold some of these up. My light's kind of washing them out. So these are kind of like the different styles that you can put. And then this packet, this one comes with both of them on the same. Like this one, you have to do this side and then get another piece like left, right, left, right, like this. Um, in this packet, they come right together, so you can see right, left, right, left, right, left, and then it also has the name, come on, pick up, I'm going to have to hold it back here so you guys can see, it also has the name on um, the sticker as to which side that you put it on, so today I think we're just going to go, we're just going to go with the regular winged liner, because I know a lot of people struggle with winged liner, I've been doing it for years, and some days I'm still like, did I just do this today, am I five, like how, how can I not figure this out, like I've been doing this forever, and I still tend to screw it up. So we're going to see if these work. Um, so let's see, we're going to try, I'm going to try one of these. I think we're just going to do the cat line eyeliner is what it's called. So I'm going to peel this off. Now I wonder, so I've got the sticker peeled off right here. I wonder you have to peel the actual inside off right here on these. Um, on the other ones, I don't think you have to do that. So once you peel this sticker off, you will have to peel that little inside part out that's kind of cut out specifically so you can place the eyeliner. So we're going to go ahead and uh, try to stick this on. The eye. I have played with these a little bit and I do know that placement is a little bit tricky, but once you do it a couple of times, it's really worth the effort of getting the sticker on. I start with the inner corner and then place um, the out. So I start here and then place the wing on the outer last. So I'm going to um, try to let you guys see what the heck's going on. I'm going to pull this mirror a little bit closer to me. And we're going to try to stick that right there in the corner. And then I'll hold it down with my finger because if you don't, you're going to pull it off because the other part is stuck to your eye. And we're going to... Uh, place it the best that you can. So because of my eye shape, and you might find this true with you as well if you get these, this little piece right here doesn't want to stick quite as well because my eye kind of dips in. So when I'm putting the shadow on, I'm very careful as where I put it right there um, and pretty much press that down right before I place the shadow in this area so it doesn't go up under the stencil. So, all right. So now we've got that in place. Pretty pretty easy, pretty easy. I'm looking at my monitor to make sure that I'm still recording because sometimes my camera likes to be crazy. And don't mind this hair, I'm trying to let it grow out and I don't know if I'm going to make it. So I'm gonna go in with a purple. You can definitely do black, you can do any color that you want to, but I'm gonna use this palette. This is the Royal Queen palette by the Makeup Institute, which is a sister brand to Hank and Henry. These are the colors that are inside right here. And I'm gonna go in with mm, this purple right here. Um, the easiest way that I have found is to take a flat packer brush or either an angled brush because when you have the angled brush it really helps you to get right up there in that corner. The packer brush would be really good for the um, 
the main lid area, but you can use whatever kind of brush you want, but these have seemed to be the best decisions um, when I have decided to try these stencils. It's like an angle brush. Let's just do, let's be the YouTuber and do this. Um, we're gonna use the angle brush and the packing brush. I don't know why my camera's like blurring everything out because you know, I really think some days that Satan's just like, you know what, I'm gonna do everything I possibly can to keep you from recording a video, but we're not gonna let him win. So, all right, I'm gonna put some powder under this eye right here because I have um, found using some of these, not this necess not this specific eyeshadow, but we just don't want any, any fallout. We don't wanna have to deal with any kind of purple under our eye because then we don't wanna look like we have a black eye. So we're just gonna place some powder for fallout right here just like that. And this is the ColourPop translucent powder, but you can use whatever translucent powder that you have. All right, so I'm gonna start with the um, flat concealer brush. This is a Hank and Henry brush, and this is the uh, Nicole brush, if you were wondering. And I'm gonna go in to this purple here. We're gonna load the brush up, and I'm gonna tap a little bit of the extra off right there. Look, I, this palette's so new, I haven't even peeled the the thing off of it. That's satisfying. All right, so I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to start packing that purple on the lid. Just like that. Let me get close to make sure you guys are seeing. Now I'm going to be careful right here because this is where my stencil wants to kind of pop up. I'm going to set that palette down so I can, let's, I'm going to hold it like this just to make sure it doesn't go underneath that stencil where I don't want it to go. And you may not have that problem, but that's it's just the way my eye is shaped. It's not a deal breaker for the stencils. I just want to make sure that it doesn't go underneath there. So we're just gonna um, keep packing the color on. And as you can see, I did get some fallout, which is normal. Um, that's why I put the powder there. Okay, so now I think we've got a good amount of shadow packed in on that on that stencil. So the moment of truth, does this work or does it not work? The only thing I'm worried about is I'm pretty sure I might have to clean up a little bit right there, which is fine. But this would be, if it works, a great product for people who want to have that like cat eye look and, is, and they're a little bit more newer to makeup, but they want to have like the experienced makeup look. I think this might be a good product for you. So let's peel it off and see what it looks like. Da, 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 da. Okay, the only thing is right there because of the shape of my eye, I'm gonna have to clean up. But other than that, I think it looks pretty good. What do you think? Let me go in and clean it up and then I'll come back and we'll, we'll make our decision on what we think about these stencils. Oh say, oh say, oh say, oh say, okay. What, what's happening here? It's Friday and I, I can't speak. So I have cleaned up the um, liner. So I wiped off the powder that was underneath my eyes. I did a little cleaning up with some concealer like right here and then right on the lid. Um, I think it's because the purple shadow, um, you have to be very careful if you're going to use a shadow with color. Well, of course, black as well, I guess. But the purple had kind of gotten a little bit, but that's just because my eye shape is the way it is. But I think all in all that it worked pretty well for a winged liner with just, you know, using the stencil, filling it in. Um, once you get used to putting the, the sticker on your eyelid, I think it's gonna go really fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the sticker on this side and we're gonna do this side as well and see how it works out. This is my bad eye. This one never wants to work. So if this one works, I'll be pretty impressed. Okay, so we've got this one done. So I'm a little concerned that right here, it's gonna have to be cleaned up. I think my eye shape is a little bit strange for these. I mean, the stencils work for them, but just to be aware. And if you pull it off and restick it and pull it off and restick it, it's going to start doing, see how it lifts right there a little bit. I only pulled this off once and restuck it once. So just be very careful that you get really good placement when you put these on to begin with because 
their sticking ability is not 100%. So, yep. I figured this one was going to have to be cleaned up, which is, you know, that's okay. So, right there, you can kind of see I'm going to go in with some concealer and kind of straighten that edge up. Um, this side looks a little bit lower, but let's trust the process. Let me clean this up and we'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and finished off the look. I just put on some lashes and some black in the waterline, and I think it turned out pretty good. I know this is probably not an everyday wearable look for some people, but there are smaller stencils that you can use for the winged eyeliner, and you can do a black felt tip pencil. You can also still use black eyeshadow. I think it works really well if you're learning how to do it, and this can kind of, you know, make you look like you know what you're doing more than you know what you're doing, if you know what I mean. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I thought it was really cool that they make stuff like this and products to help you learn how to do things and I definitely will be playing with these again. So if you guys have anything that you want to see, any comments, questions, concerns, whatever you want to talk about, please leave them down below and please subscribe. Like I said, it really helps my channel out and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!